SQPN presents PlayStation Portable, the Liturgy of the Hours of the Roman Catholic Church. Wednesday, August 28th, Memorial of St. Augustine, Bishop and Doctor of the Church, Office of Readings. God, come to my assistance. Lord, make haste to help me. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Alleluia. The earth is full of the goodness of Christ. He feeds his lambs and guards his sheep. He walks abroad as the shepherd of souls and gathers all into his keep. We know the voice of our pastor, the Lord. He calls our names eternally. Our hearts rejoice at the words that he speaks, and I know mine, and mine know me. When danger comes, all the howlings will flee, but Christ remains to guard our sleep. When evil comes, the good shepherd of souls lays down his life to save his sheep. We shall not want, for our pastor is Christ. He makes us lie in fields of grace. We're shorn of sin and refreshed by his love. We gaze in prayer upon his face. I love you, Lord. You are my strength. Psalm 18 I love you, Lord, my strength, my rock, my fortress, my Savior. My God is the rock where I take refuge. My shield, my mighty help, my stronghold. The Lord is worthy of all praise. When I call, I am saved from my foes. The waves of death rose about me. The torrents of destruction assailed me. The snares of the grave entangled me. The traps of death confronted me. In my anguish I called to the Lord. I cried to my God for help. From his temple he heard my voice. My cry came to his ears. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. I love you, Lord. You are my strength. The Lord has saved me. He wanted me for his own. Then the earth reeled and rocked. The mountains were shaken to their base. They reeled at his terrible anger. Smoke came forth from his nostrils, and scorching fire from his mouth. Coals were set ablaze by its heat. He lowered the heavens and came down, a black cloud under his feet. He came enthroned on the cherubim. He flew on the wings of the wind. He made the darkness his covering, the dark waters of the clouds his tent. A brightness shone out before him with hailstones and flashes of fire. The Lord thundered in the heavens. The Most High let his voice be heard. He shot his arrows, scattered the foe, flashed his lightnings, and put them to flight. The bed of the ocean was revealed. The foundations of the world were laid bare at the thunder of your threat, O Lord, at the blast of the breath of your anger. From on high he reached out and seized me. He drew me forth from the mighty waters. He snatched me from my powerful foe, from my enemies whose strength I could not match. They assailed me in the day of my misfortune, but the Lord was my support. He brought me forth into freedom, He saved me because he loved me. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. The Lord has saved me. He wanted me for his own. Lord, kindle a light for my guidance and scatter my darkness. He rewarded me because I was just, repaid me for my hands were clean. For I have kept the way of the Lord and have not fallen away from my God. For his judgments are all before me. I have never neglected his commands. I have always been upright before him. I have kept myself from guilt. He repaid me because I was just, and my hands were clean in his eyes. You are loving with those who love you. You show yourself perfect with the perfect. With the sincere you show yourself sincere, but the cunning you outdo in cunning. For you save a humble people, but humble the eyes that are proud. You, O Lord, are my lamp, my God who lightens my darkness. With you I can break through any barrier. With my God I can scale any wall. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Lord, can a light for my guidance and scatter my darkness. All wondered at the words of grace, which came from the mouth of the Lord. From the book of the prophet Jeremiah. 
This word of the Lord came to me. Go, cry out this message for Jerusalem to hear. I remembered the devotion of your youth, how you loved me as a bride, following me in the desert, in a land unsown. Sacred to the Lord was Israel, the first fruits of his harvest. Should anyone presume to partake of them, evil would befall him, says the Lord. Listen to the word of the Lord, O house of Jacob, all you clans of the house of Israel. Thus says the Lord, What fault did your fathers find in me that they withdrew from me, went after empty idols, and became empty themselves? They did not ask, Where is the Lord who brought us up from the land of Egypt, who led us through the desert, through a land of wastes and gullies, through a land of drought and darkness, through a land which no one crosses, where no man dwells? When I brought you into the garden land to eat its goodly fruits, you entered and defiled my land, you made my heritage loathsome. The priests asked not, Where is the Lord? Those who dealt with the law knew me not. The shepherds rebelled against me. The prophets prophesied by Baal, and went after useless idols. Therefore will I yet accuse you, says the Lord, and even your children's children I will accuse. Pass over to the coast of the Kittim and see. Send to Kedar and carefully inquire. Where has the like of this been done? Does any other nation change its gods? Yet they are not gods at all. But my people have changed their glory for useless things. Be amazed at this, O heavens, and shudder with sheer horror, says the Lord. Two evils have my people done. They have forsaken me, the source of living waters. They have dug themselves cisterns, broken cisterns that hold no water. Long ago you broke your yoke, you tore off your bonds. I will not serve, you said. On every high hill, under every garden green tree, you gave yourself to harlotry. I had planted you a choice vine of fully tested stock. How could you turn out obnoxious to me, a spurious vine? Though you scour it with soap and use much lye, the stain of your guilt is still before me, says the Lord God. How can you say, I am not defiled, I have not gone after the Baals? Consider your conduct in the valley, recall what you have done. A frenzied she-camel coursing near and far, breaking away toward the desert, snuffing the wind in her ardor, who can restrain her lust? No beast need tire themselves seeking her, in her month they will meet her. Stop wearing out your shoes and parching your throat. But you say, no use, no, I love these strangers, and after them I must go. Responsory I planted you a choice vine, sprung from the soundest stock. Now you have turned into a vine degenerate and repulsive to me. So the kingdom of God will be taken away from you, and given to a people who will produce a rich harvest. I looked for justice, and I saw only bloodshed, for righteousness, and I heard only heard a cry of distress. So the kingdom of God will be taken away from you and given to a people who will produce a rich harvest. From the Confessions of St. Augustine, Bishop Urged to reflect upon myself, I entered your guidance into the inmost depth of my soul. I was able to do so because you were my helper. On entering into myself, I saw, as it were, with the eye of the soul, what was beyond the eye of the soul, beyond my spirit, your immutable light. It was not the ordinary light perceptible to all flesh, nor was it merely something of greater magnitude, but still essentially akin, shining more clearly and diffusing itself everywhere by its intensity. No, it was something entirely distinct, something altogether different from all these things and it did not rest above my mind as oil on the surface of water, nor was it above me as heaven is above earth. This light was above me because it had made me. I was below it because I was created by it. He who has come to know the truth knows this light. O eternal truth, true love and beloved eternity, you are my God. To you do I sigh day and night. 
When I first came to know you, you drew me to yourself, so that I might see that there were things for me to see, but that I myself was not yet ready to see them. Meanwhile, you overcame the weakness of my vision, sending forth most strongly the beams of your light, and I trembled at once with love and dread. I learned that I was in a region unlike yours and far distant from you, and I thought I heard your voice from on high. I am the food of grown men. Grow then, and you will feed on me. Nor will you change me into yourself like bodily food, but you will be changed into me. I sought a way to gain the strength which I needed to enjoy you, but I did not find it until I embraced the mediator between God and men, the man Christ Jesus, who is above all, God blessed forever. He was calling me and saying, "I am the way of truth. I am the life." He was offering the food which I lacked the strength to take, the food he had mingled with our flesh, for the word became flesh, that your wisdom. By which you created all things, might provide milk for us children. Late have I loved you, O beauty ever ancient, ever new. Late have I loved you. You were within me, but I was outside, and it was there that I searched for you. In my unloveliness, I plunged into the lovely things which you created. You were with me, but I was not with you. Created things kept me from you, yet. If they had not been in you, they would not have been at all. You called, you shouted, and you broke through my deafness. You flashed, you shone, and you dispelled my blindness. You breathed your fragrance on me. I drew in breath, and now I pant for you. I have tasted you. Now I hunger and thirst for more. You touched me, and I burned for your peace. Responsory, O truth, you are the light of my heart. Let your light speak to me, not my own darkness. I went astray, but I remembered you, and now I return longing and thirsting for your fountain. I myself cannot give life; of myself I have lived wrongly. In you I have found life again, and now I return longing and thirsting for your fountain. Let us pray. Renew in your church, we pray, O Lord, the spirit with which you endowed your bishop Saint Augustine, that. Filled with the same spirit, we may thirst for you, the sole fount of true wisdom, and seek you, the author of heavenly love. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, for ever and ever, Amen. Let us praise the Lord and give Him thanks, Amen. Saint Augustine, pray for us. Pray Station Portable is a production of SQPN. The StarQuest Production Network.